Hi everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. So I have one more short tool review before we get to the Thanksgiving special. Today we're talking about thermal cameras. Now thermal cameras, technology is advancing at an incredible rate. So two years ago we did a video comparing uh, two tools. The Topdon 629 standalone camera and the FLIR 1 uh, camera that attaches to your phone. So from the video two years ago, I rated these cameras as, you know, in several categories, ease of use, image quality, battery life, and price. And they were you know, pretty close. Uh, the FLIR 1 battery life, I'm going to have to downgrade this to a 1. Every time I get out to use it, it's completely dead. You need a separate power bank. It's a pain in the butt. Not would not um, recommend this for field use just because of the battery life. Uh, the top on every time you turn it on, battery is great. Um, but again, technology doesn't stand still, so the resolution here leaves a little bit to be desired. Here's where we come to <clears throat> two newcomers to the field. Again, one is by top on the TC view it you know piggybacks off your phone just like the FLIR and then this HIK micro pocket 2 standalone IR camera uh, let's take a quick look at the features and functionality compare these two and kind of do a similar rating um, of these cameras and see if uh, if they can beat the <laughs> the existing uh, you know top cameras all right let's start with the HIK micro pocket 2 so this is about the size of your smartphone let's turn it on try it out on an actual car like we did with the uh, with the previous video and see how how this thing performs so this thing is actually packed with cool features uh, the resolution is uh, better than the two cameras over there uh, so let's uh, go to the car and take some pictures so I have the trusty Mercury Mystique here I've had the key on for a little while let's point the camera at the fuse box and see if it's easy to determine which relays are energized if any fuses are hot so we see two relays right there that are energized however the hot spot is not right over the relay I noticed that it's shifted so the thermal image and the actual image don't quite align so if you go to menu and just do image mode we're in fusion right now if you just want to do thermal you get just the thermal image now the top down uh, TC view does not even have a regular camera so you can't overlay the images like this I mean, you could just use this as a regular camera not bad at all um, and taking a picture is as easy as pressing a button so let's see here back oh yeah I already took the took the picture if you want to take a video I think you hold down the button and now you're in video recording so you can do a video of the thermal you know the thermal image recording succeeded um, what else uh, can we do here so in the image you can obviously do the hot and the cold spot if you turn those on you can see the hot spot is at 95 degrees Fahrenheit and the cold spot is at 51 degrees 
Fahrenheit, the car's been sitting in the garage here. So my only complaint with the image is that the thermal image is shifted slightly from the uh, you know the optical image. You know you, you can easily test that by let me set the camera up right here. So for example, there's my finger. You can see how far the optical image is from the uh, the thermal image. I think that's excessive and unfortunately you can't calibrate these two. You can't like move one image with respect to the other like on some other cameras. So that's my biggest complaint about about this Pocket 2 unit. Now let's go back to the bench and see how we can transfer images um, to your computer to your phone. So once you take an image you want to either put it in a document, attach it, send it to a customer. Uh, you want it on your phone or on your PC. So to get the image on your PC you just attach your uh, USB cable there and the PC sees it as a you know just a file drive. A uh, really cool thing you can do here is download the HIK Micro app and click on handheld device and you just have to sync this with the hotspot of your smartphone and you just click on that and now <laughs> you can control the camera from your phone uh, this is this really blows my mind so we'll set these up right here uh, for example you know it sends a request to the camera you know you can calibrate it you can uh, do your you know take away the cold and the hot markers and once you have a good image you just click picture boom that image is in your phone now so you don't even have to worry about transferring files back and forth that's pretty neat um, but otherwise you know the resolution is uh, 256 by 192 pixels which is actually the same as the little top down here and better than the FLIR or the older top down so like I said technology is always improving so that's really neat let's uh Let's jump to the top-down camera and see how that stacks up. Oh, um, by the way, the battery life on this, they claim four hours. I've been using it, you know, for a few hours, just left it on, no, no issues there, and just rechargeable with a USB-C cable. Okay, so the top-down TC view. This device is actually very simple. It just has one plug and it's supposed to piggyback into your Android phone. Sorry iPhone users, can't use this camera. You're out of luck. Get yourself an Android. So if you have a case, obviously that's not going to work. So this cable I bought to use for the FLIR camera you know, a few years ago and that's the only way I can connect this camera to my phone right now. So that is uh, you know we'll have to deduct a point for ease of use you have to buy your own cable and then on my phone I have a velcro strip and I have to put one on the top down so we can just stick this camera onto the phone and then um, plug this one in to the uh, to down here wrap that around so it doesn't get in the way like so Now we'll go to our TC001 app. Device could not be detected. Okay, so it says connected there. Thermal imaging. And we're off. So, like I said, there is no optical camera on here. It's just the thermal camera. That's not necessarily a bad thing. The resolution 
is quite good. It's the same uh, 256 by 192 as the um, <clears throat> as the competitor. Uh, now, let, you see the image is upside down because the camera on my phone is upside down. Easy to correct that. Just go to settings down here, rotate, rotate again. Now we're you know looking at whatever you want and obviously just hit camera take a picture it's stored on your phone you're good to go you can do video that's recording very very easy to use once you have the cable and the velcro um, no problems at all and you know the pictures are already stored in your phone. Let's go to the car and see if we can um, look at that fuse box and see what the resolution is like. All right, so let's look at the fuse box, and this is actually really, I think, really good. So those are the two relays. Obviously, we don't have an optical picture, but the the thermal resolution, I, I'm really impressed. You can see the outline of the relay, the um, little step, you know, on top there. Uh, this is actually all you would really need to do a diagnosis. You can see the outlines of the fuses, even in the thermal image. So it's not really a drawback that it doesn't have the optical, you know, overlay. Um, I'm pretty impressed. Oh, and by the way, a huge benefit of the TC View over the FLIR is that it just powers up off of your phone. There's no separate battery in here. You don't need the, another power bank, um, another wire. It's, it's really simple. It just has one connection to your phone. If your phone's charged up, this thing, you know, let's, let's see how much battery I have on my phone. You know, 75% right now, so... I've been using it for again a couple hours just plugged in just to test it out and if the if your phone battery is good then you should have no issues with it powering up the, the little IR camera. So awesome. Love it. Let's uh let's do the summary. Alright, so here's the blink screen and here's my honest evaluation of these two cameras. So ease of use, I gave them both a 4 out of 5. The Pocket 2, you know, image transfer, you have the cool app and stuff, but still you have to put in some effort to transfer images from the camera to your phone or to your PC. The top down TC view, the only drawback is if you have a case you need to buy your own wire and put on some Velcro, but once you have that set up, this thing is plug and play, so these are just about even on ease of use. Image quality, uh, specifically the infrared image, they're identical, 256 by 192 pixels. You saw that the, the images are very crisp, especially to the older cameras, you know, compared to even the FLIR. Um, so four out of five for both of those. Battery life, very happy, you know, with four hours on the Pocket 2 and the TC view just piggybacks off your phone so five out of five there you should have no issues with battery life on either of these cameras now the price so the HK Micro Pocket 2 right now on Amazon is $150 off so it retails for $600 you can get it for $450 right now which is what the f I paid for the FLIR out of pocket a couple years ago and honestly that was a disappointing waste of money because the battery sucks. Um, the top down, the older one, this might not even be available anymore. Uh, I think because they just went to, you know, the um, the TC View. TC View is 240 bucks on sale right now. Retails for 300, so that's half price of the HK Micro Pocket 2. That is a big big factor especially if you know for occasional use um, if you get the right results why not just pay half the price so 
that's really the only difference between these two scores is the uh, t the top down gets two two extra points just for being affordable. Um, but again, the Pocket 2, the HK Micro, it's a great tool, and that's not, um, you know, it, that excessive. Like if it was a snap-on camera, it would probably be like $4,000. <laughs> um, but for a nice piece of equipment, then, you know, that's not crazy. So very close scores, and you can see they both beat out the... Uh, two previous competitors 13 and 14 last time now we have 16 and 18 so technology is getting better and even though inflation is going through the roof these things are still on sale so get them while you can and um, I'll try to use uh, I'm just thinking in the field which one would I use probably the the TC view just because you just plug it into your phone and go um, versus the other one you take pictures and you have to transfer them this and that uh, you know time is time is money so I just want an easy fast efficient um, simple simple to use and um, not not worry about recharging another device that's actually another benefit of the TC view but great product and next video I promise will be the Thanksgiving special thanks so much for watching see you next time bye bye